it is 2.33. We had planned on staying in all day, but my mother-in-law just got done skiing for the day, or snowboarding for the day, and she asked if we wanted to go up in the gondola and then see the beautiful view and go to a coffee shop. Sorry, I just came up steps. <laughs> came up to get my pain pills. So I'm gonna start going downstairs. I'm actually a little too hot up here. But I will bring a hand warmer pack just in case if I need it. Poor Mary with her. <laughs> she looks very cute though with her lovely fashion statement of her poor arm. So we're gonna go up the gondola. We just got back to the cabin. The fire's going. You can see all the snowboarding stuff. Plugged in the diffusers. You guys know, I, I think I said I've been herxing like all, all day. So now I'm just gonna be relaxing the rest of the evening. And then I think we're gonna go to dinner as well. And um, tomorrow will be another rest day. It was really good to rest today. I needed it. But it was really fun getting to go on the gondola and um, get some coffee with Mary and my mother-in-law too. So we really enjoyed that. So we're gonna go ahead and go upstairs and watch some of the footage from today. So I'll go ahead and show you guys some of that now. Good morning, America. We are on The Daily Show with Drew and Kyle as we head up the lift for our second run of the day. Drew, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling bright and toasty, Kyle. How are you feeling? Bright and toasty for sure. A little bit of steeze, a little bit of ease. We're riding the lift and we're having a great time. Steezy, breezy, beautiful. Oh, Snowboard. cover girl. That's what I always say, Kyle. I hear that. And I'm so glad to see that the weather has chivened up from last, uh, last morning. It was breezy, a little too windy. This morning it's clear, it's calm, the sun is out. People are having a great time. Drew, what do you think of that hill over there? Well, that hill looks pretty nice, Kyle, but I have to say every hill looks pretty nice out here because everything's great. I <laughs> love life.
some of their great footage that they got. And now we're gonna go to dinner. Uh, last night, I did not go with them, I stayed home. Another beautiful day in Colorado. Past two days, I've been pretty sick. Yesterday, I couldn't even really get out of bed. So, um, taking it really easy today as well. Not feeling too good. Looks like we got some fresh snow last night. They're out there snowboarding today. And I am going to be relaxing all day. But I decided I want to go ahead and do some laundry. So when I get home, it's already done. out of breath from going to the steps but I have my couch I'm watching a little TV just turn the fire on and there's coffee in the pot but I'm pretty sure that it's regular coffee and I can't do that so I'll have to do decaf but I'm probably gonna wait an hour or two and right now I'm drinking uh, lemon water to help with detoxing enjoying the beautiful view and I will keep resting and then going back down to finish the laundry. Okay, time to go back down the stairs to get the laundry out. Definitely getting my workout today. <laughs> struggling a bit so I think it is it's almost noon which is actually almost two at our time so that's plenty of fasting so I think it means it's time to make some coffee I'm not gonna waste what they had I'm just gonna put it in uh, a glass and then hopefully they'll drink it later so this week my work started up again but I obviously didn't go because we had Kyle's family vacation planned but I am excited to go back to work. It's always a little hard because, um, you know, beginning of the semesters, it's a lot of physical activity for me where as the semester goes on, they start learning their dances. I don't have to do quite as much. So I'm already praying just for strength for that. It's really hard. Sometimes people are like, how do you travel? How do you do this? And, you know, it's not because I feel good enough to. It's just because I'm still trying to live my life and be with family on vacations and stuff like that and uh it's very very difficult yesterday i cried a lot i felt very down and sick but you know i kyle was a great help and we prayed and started feeling a little bit better at 9 p.m <laughs> so all day i pretty much stayed in bed and um it's because it just gets to you physically mentally emotionally all of it um, just being out and doing things, even though I'm here, I'm still up, I'm with people, sometimes we go to dinner, so just trying to show you guys a little bit of what a chronic illness vacation looks like while they're doing their thing, I do mine. Um, last year's vlogs from Colorado, we were at Steamboat, I'll link those down below. You'll get to see what we did there. We went to some spring, some hot springs. Um, I went in the hot tub a lot. Here I haven't. I've been too cold because the first two days the water was cold and then it just really turned me off from it. And so I've just been doing uh, the bath as my hot tub. <laughs> well, I like to show this because if you are sick, um, sometimes it's fun just to enjoy the scenery and stuff like that. So I really hope you guys enjoy these vlogs. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below something you thought that was interesting about this vlog. Or maybe you saw a mountain. It made you think of a time you were on the mountains. 
or when you've been skiing or snowboarding, tell me your vacation stories. I love interacting with you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Always appreciate it. If you want to help me by supporting me even more, you can ask others to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can turn on my vlogs playlist.